going to give you a summary of what I gave in <coughs> Paris over a much longer period of time, which was the interrelation among energy, ROI, and secular stagnation and hypothesis. And what I'm going to do is present to you the biophysical perspective of why we're having secular stagnation. And I come at this, <coughs> uh, that's what I said. I come at this as an ecologist. Uh, I am one who thinks that um, human economies are special cases of economies of nature. We won't go into that now, but you want to ask me about that later. But let's take what's called succession. These are <clears throat> diagrams derived from Eugene Odom. And in concept, over time, you have production, meaning <clears throat> primary production, that is plant production, using sunlight, taking CO2 out of the atmosphere and turning it into infrastructure, which is trees and, or grass or whatever it is. And <clears throat> over time, it levels off. The important thing is respiration. That's the energy cost of maintaining the infrastructure. And as the biomass, meaning the infrastructure, increases over time, do you reach a point where all of the energy captured by the production is used to, for maintenance metabolism, to maintain what we have? And so the question I had and talked about in more detail in, in Paris was, <clears throat> As we build infrastructure in civilization, does the energy cost of maintaining that infrastructure now uh, in time end up not allowing real growth? And here is uh, from Gail Turberg, if you have any problems, talk to her, um, from the rate of growth of GDP and the rate of growth of energy for the world. Uh, obviously some correlation. Um, and this is the crude oil production over time. And 1965, this is the good old days. And the rate of oil has, uh, the rate of increase of the production of oil, certainly real oil, uh, has essentially become flat. Summary, please. There is the summary is the declining rate of growth of U.S. and world GDP is, oops, it. is about the same as the decline, the same slope as the decline in the rate of production of energy. Are they correlated? Is that a biophysical reality? Looking at this diagram, this is the concept of peak, used to be peak oil, this is peak all fossil fuels, the most, in my last slide, this is, the, this is the production projected into the future of all fossil fuels, if that's true, and if there is a continued close connection between energy use and economic activity, we might expect less economic growth in the future, and this might be an explanation for secular stagnation. My comment, you are corresponding exactly to mine, that energy and GDP go exactly parallel. You can't do production without energy. That's not causation. Please, correlation. Yeah. 